Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my what I bought my kids for Christmas 2021 edition. I am so excited to be bringing you guys another video. Also, side note, my little three month old is hanging out here on the bed with me while I'm filming this. So if you hear cute little baby noises in the background, that's what it is. But let's just jump right into the gifts. And starting out with my two year old Lucy, this is the first thing on the list of the things that we got her, which I will have all that I can linked in the description box. But we got her this little washer and dryer set. And it is so, so cute and matches perfectly with her little pink kitchen that she has. And so she is very into this pretend place play and wanting to help do things around the house and has been very into helping me do laundry and so I thought it would be fun for her to have a little washer and dryer set that she can play with herself so if your kids are into pretend play check this out they even have like an ex an espresso brown shade so if you have a little boy and you don't want to get him a pink washer and dryer and you want to get him something a little more manly then you can go with the brown shade as well so lots of options and I think that works great for both boys and girls next on my list for Miss Lucy is a makeup set we wanted to get her one of these because she is so into when I go into the bathroom to put my makeup on she wants to be involved and right in the middle of it so wanted to get her her own little set that way when I sit down to do my makeup she can do hers and we can just kind of have fun doing that together third thing on the list is this little princess toiletry bag it has all kinds of little Disney princesses on it and it's adorable if you are familiar with my channel you know I'm a huge Disney fan and we love going like you can see the hidden Mickey's in the background here like we are Disney people around here and so I got her that for when we are traveling and going to Disney World or just traveling in general that way she has one it comes with a little monogram so I've got her name on it so we know exactly which one is which between the girls and so I just thought it was super super cute and it makes a great gift for when we want to travel another great thing and this would make a perfect stocking stuffer are the Crayola mess free kits and so I get these they've got paint kits they've got like marker kits and so lots of little options and they are great for keeping your house clean we have had some not so great experiences with markers and our couch yeah not fun I had to do a lot of scrubbing after that event but these, you cannot get it on the on the couch. You can't get it on the carpet. Like nothing gets drawn on and messed up. So highly recommend these. And they're really inexpensive and great little stocking stuffers. And then last on our list is something that we like to try to subscribe to or stay subscribed to. Sometimes it does get a little expensive because it is on the pricier side of things. We have had to take breaks and whatnot, but we love doing the Love Every Play Kit. They are what we call her Smarty Pants toys and they actually, they've lasted so, so well. We've been subscribed for the most part to Love Every ever since Lucy was around three months old. And so we have been able to kind of keep those toys and now my youngest daughter Bella is now playing with those as well and so they hold up really really well as well as they are age appropriate and so you're not going to be getting this box of random toys that isn't like literally specifically for your child and their age and so I really like that and I know that she's learning a skill that's going to be important for her so highly recommend the love every play kits or if like you're wanting to have suggestions for grandma and grandpa or something or people like I don't know what to get her and they want to give money it's like I've did this with my parents and my grandparents that want to get something for their great grandbabies I'm like well let's instead of going to the store and buying them some little random toy that they're not gonna play with anyway give us money to put towards her toys and that is something that we like to do and kind of keep that subscription going and it's the gift that keeps on giving throughout the year and as far as other things that Lucy likes and uh, that I haven't mentioned that we got her for Christmas just things that she's already had maybe that we got last Christmas or whatever I will have those linked in the description box. That way you can kind of check those out if you're looking for more ideas. Now, on to Miss Bella. Now, these gifts are some a little older for what she can have right now. She's almost, she's three months, almost four months old. And around Christmas, she'll be just a few days shy of six months old. I cannot believe it. It almost makes me emotional saying that out loud, but we went ahead and have purchased her this little jumper. As I said, we're Disney people. We got the Minnie Mouse version because we think she will love that and all the colors and everything. So I've got that already put away for her as well as this walker. Again, Minnie Mouse. We love Minnie Mouse around here. So we got that one. It's very lightweight and we've had other like brands with Lucy and they were really bulky and heavy and 
just hard to like walk around in and this one's actually really lightweight and so I highly recommend it if you're wanting to have a nice little lightweight walker for your baby to kind of cruise around in it's a lot of fun it has neat little toys so definitely recommend those next up is I'm getting her some teething toys so various little things okay. great stocking stuffers because we are heading into that time unfortunately <laughs> of getting the teeth and that is just so not fun and so uncomfortable comfortable for them so having little toys that they can just chew on and play with is great for distracting them and helping to work on those little sweet gums that are in a lot of uncomfortable pain next up on the list is we don't have a subscription for Bella because obviously she has her sister's toys that we still have and so she gets to play with those but if you do have a little one again love every subscription we love it it is you get it every two to three months depending on the age of your child child and it is seriously the most perfect thing we love it and it is great for being the perfect like toys for their age and they're learning these really cool things with doing the toys and like playing with them and so cannot recommend love every enough next up on my list for miss bella is we also got her one of the little toiletry bags because why not matching sisters and everything and so went ahead and got hers it's got like i said with lucy's it's got the her name on it it's kind of monogrammed and everything so we know which bag is which girls and she can have it and then as she grows she's got her own little toiletry bag and yeah, I think that is a great gift. And then next up is Disney car seat toys. We have a couple, we have a Dumbo and a Minnie Mouse that she loves to play with, but I like to kind of switch them out. That way she doesn't get bored with them and like, oh, this is the same toy. And so when I put something up there that's new every couple weeks, she's like, oh, this is different. And it keeps her attention and helps to save having so many tears in the car when you're driving. So highly recommend these. They've got all kinds of little like parts that they can chew on and the crinkle paper and everything i'm gonna get her this bell one for christmas because it's so so cute but yeah they've got for little boys little girls and i will have some of our favorites linked in the description box below and like i said with lucy i will have some other items linked that bella loves to play with down in the description box so if you have a baby that's going to be around six months old when christmas time rolls around like our sweet little lady is going to be you can check those out and I know that it kind of looks like a lot and it isn't a lot, like, I don't know. Some people go like all out with like tons and tons and tons of presents for Christmas, but we wanted to kind of scale some things back a little this year because our focus as a family has been on spending more time together doing things instead of buying things, if that makes sense. So our priority is putting, instead of putting a ton of money on gifts and toys that they're really not gonna play with, we will go ahead and spend that money on a trip or vacation or whatever it is. That way we can do something and have an experience together as a family Family, even money that's given as like birthday gifts Christmas gifts that's what we personally like to do with that is we'll put it towards our family vacation or whatever that way we're making memories together instead of just piling up stuff that you've got to clean up every night when they're done playing because let's be honest they're not going to play with all of it anyway but don't feel like you have to have this like gigantic spread of christmas presents under your tree because that's just not necessary when they're really little like our girls are like it doesn't matter like they're just excited to open up anything that you give them they're not like specifically wanting something and if they're a little bigger just talk to them be like hey would you rather us buy these christmas presents all these things on your wish list to see Santa or would you rather put some of that money and go to Disney or whatever it is that you guys like to do and so that's just personally something that we like to do and yeah I highly recommend that but if you enjoyed the video definitely hit the thumbs up button and if you are new around here and you haven't hit the subscribe button go on down and hit the red subscribe button join our internet fam and I will see you guys right back here for the next video bye you guys can you tell our internet fam bye yeah, you see the baby in the viewfinder? Do you wait? Say bye bye. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs>